Sanjay Jha, India is largely seen as being a religious country. Uh, amongst those who are more religious than the others, fewer people are voting for the, BG, for the Congress uh, or the opposition than used to be the case earlier. The BJP pulling towards its gravitational force. Many more who are religious uh, than the opposition parties have been able to over the last 15 years. You know, Rahul, I'll tell you what emerges from your numbers. Number one, I need to tell you this, that I don't think India has never or ever been low on its religiosity. I think India has always been a traditional conservative country. I think India has always been a religious country. It's not that after Modi or after 2014 that has changed. I think the critical way is the Congress missing, uh, I think, a very significant underlying message here, which is number one, that every voter who has voted BJP is not Hindutva. I can tell you Indians are religious. The Hindu voter is religious. He's not communal. To brand everybody who votes BJP to be communal is, I think, a politically a myopic thought. Because the simple reason behind that is that the Congress party has governed India for 70% of the post-1947 period. And you think those votes can come from 14% minority Muslim votes? The majority has come from the Hindu community. And the Congress party has won 10 of the 17 general elections, is governed for 55 years on the support of all communities across the country. I think the party seems to have become a little shoehorned politically because of the BJP propaganda on minority appeasement that it has not been able to address the narrative here that I am a big tent party, we appeal to everybody in this country. And I think that was an opportunity for the Congress to actually politically leverage. I don't know why Mr. Sinha objected to me being strategic about being there for the consecration ceremony. Okay. Because it is a political project of the BJP. There is no denying that. Sure, no, but the Congress no, party should have been there. Yeah, but if the Congress shows up at the consecration ceremony, then the charge would be flung their way that, oh, this is BJP light, what's the real difference? So the Congress was really pushed by the BJP into a very tough spot, between a rock and a hard place. Where do you go? Where do you not? Now let's come to the last question on the political stock exchange this week. This is to do with the level of religiosity and uh, the propensity to vote for different parties. So here it is, uh, 2009, 2014, and 2019, all at the same time. So in 2009, let's just look at this part of the screen first. So forget the rest of the data, just look at this part of the screen first. In 2009, amongst those who said their religiosity was very low, 27% voted Congress, 13% voted BJP. Uh, amongst those who said their religious propensity was Low, 25% voted Congress, 19% voted BJP. Amongst those who said they were medium uh, religiosity, 27% voted Congress, 24% voted BJP. High, 28% voted Congress, 29% voted BJP. But remember, in 2009, the Congress won, so naturally it's going to be like that. Switch to 2019, amongst those who said their religiosity was very low, 18% voted Congress, 37% voted BJP, so more than double for the BJP, even amongst those who said their religiosity was very low. Amongst those who said their religiosity was low, 17% Congress, 45% BJP. 17% uh, uh, amongst those who were medium for the Congress, 48% for the BJP. Amongst those who said their religiosity was high, 10% voting Congress, 53% voting for the BJP. So this is very clear, uh, Yashwan Deshmukh, that amongst those who were very religious, the BJP was winning much more vote than it was amongst those who are less religious. So therefore, if and to the extent that you are religious, uh, you're more likely to vote for the BJP versus the Congress in the Hindi heartland state, that data comes out quite strong. Absolutely. And you can see the drop particularly on the bottom most lines. Uh, and that also tells you one more story, Rao, that, you know, uh, there were, uh, you know, uh, uh, what Amitabh mentioned that there is a section of the BJP voters which shifted over to the BJP on the development agenda. And then there is a base voter of the BJP on the religious ground or the, uh, uh, you know, Hindutva ground. Uh, the, the gain of the BJP on the religious side is not just coming from the Congress. It is also coming from the rest of the opposition sphere. So the damage on that side is basically on to other parties as well. You know, 
while the gain of the bjp among the very low side is significant but it is not that kind of a significant that it is on the higher side yeah okay. of religious so in the midst of all the news about the anushthan and the riti rivaj i thought it will be important to look also at the data and to see how this might shape voting behavior in the 2024 election there is no clear answer because it's still a work in progress but i think between yashwan deshmukh and sanjay kumar what their data has been able to give is some insights into how people think about these issues